Indiana University paleobotanist David Dilcher and colleagues in Europe have identified a 125 million to 130 million year old freshwater plant as one of earliest flowering plants on Earth. The finding, reported August 17 in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, represents a major change in the presumed form of one of the planet's earliest flowers, known as angiosperms. This discovery raises significant questions about the early evolutionary history of flowering plants as well as the role of these plants in the evolution of other plant and animal life, said Dilcher, an emeritus professor in the IU Bloomington College of Arts and Sciences Department of Geological Sciences. The aquatic plant, Monsicaia vidalii, once grew abundantly in freshwater lakes in what are now mountainous regions in Spain. Fossils of the plant were first discovered more than 100 years ago in the limestone deposits of the Iberian Range in central Spain and in the Montsec Range of the Pyrenees, near the country's border with France. Also previously proposed as one of the earliest flowers is Archifructus sinensis, an aquatic plant found in China. A first flower is technically a myth like the first human, said Dilcher, an internationally recognized expert on angiosperm anatomy and morphology who has studied the rise and spread of flowering plants for decades. But based on this new analysis, we know now that Monsicaia is contemporaneous, if not more ancient, than Archifructus. 